The Chicago Furniture Bank is on a mission to bring comfort and dignity to people who are struggling. Here to talk about a special partnership between the Chicago Furniture Bank and Walter E. Smith is Andrew Witherspoon and Maureen Smith. Thank you both for being with us today. Sure. Um, Andrew, you, you are the co-founder of this incredible organization. How did you come up with this concept? It's so cool. Well, I can't take all the credit. Uh, <laughs> my, sure my, can. my, part, my partner, Griffin, and I, uh, and James, we were best friends since uh, freshman year of college. And when we got towards the end, we knew we wanted to do something different. And as college kids do, moving, throwing out furniture, uh -huh. um, especially a lot of kids. So we saw that. We also saw that we didn't actually want our grandparents stuff, and other <laughs> people our age didn't. But it still had the value. It still had the furniture. So we did some searching. We found the Philadelphia Furniture Bank, and then we put uh -huh. it all together. That is fantastic, yeah. and it's great. You guys got on board too, mm -hmm. and so kind of to incentivize a few more people to actually jump in and participate. Sure, we first heard about the Chicago Furniture Bank on a segment just like this yeah. several years ago, and because at Walter E. Smith, we believe comfort is a basic human right. Mm -hmm. Our goals totally aligned with Andrew and Griffin's. Mm -hmm. So we got together, and now we donate two truckloads a week on average yeah. of gently used, sometimes new furniture that we know will go to a good home for their clients. And the, and the, the big semis, not 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 the small moving <laughs> trucks. Yes, <laughs> the big one. Yeah. We and keep Marie, them busy. Yeah. yeah. And Marie, you kind of touched on this that is gently used. So where mm -hmm. does this furniture come from that you donate? Well, like for example, right now we have a trade-in sale where. Okay. Clients can, um, we'll pick up our clients' furniture for free, and we inspect it. And if it still has some life in it, we let the team at Chicago Furniture Bank know that we've got more for them to pick up. So that's amazing. It's nice because it stops things from going to the landfills. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it goes to people who need a fresh start. I, that's amazing. I, I, I probably moved uh, 10 times in the last 15 years, and every single move, mm -hmm. I get rid of stuff because yeah. you're moving to a new space. Mm -hmm. You know, your your needs change. Right. You know also designs chain so you must be getting stuff in quite frequently yes yeah we have um, 14 trucks on the road 65 full-time staff between wow. the Chicago furniture mm -hmm. ranks of picking up those donated furniture so as the honest junk that picks up anything and everything and then like you said majority of it's coming from residential pickups just anyone at home uh, who might just have that one-off bed the, the kids are out of college <laughs> yeah. and you, you finally get to reclaim the room mm -hmm. and, and we're able to pick that up and Andrew and Maureen, it sounds like right now is a really good time to make donations. It sounds like there's some incentives, and mm -hmm. also it sounds like there's a lot of people in need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you're trying to help the furniture bank, I would first say consider getting some wall threes and furniture. <laughs> It'll come to us. No other, you know, headaches are needed. Uh, but also, we're always looking for volunteers as well. Oh, oh that's so, wonderful. Yeah. That's what, and and the nice thing is too is the way you guys have set up the shopping experience. Mm -hmm. People who get this furniture really do get a chance to have some dignity and, and not mm -hmm. just be getting something used. It's a nice experience. Yeah, we have a 10,000 square foot showroom to be able to give that personal shopping experience. So when I our 400 social service agencies uh, make that referral whether they're finally moving into that new home or they went to the doctor and mm -hmm. having issues because they've been sleeping on the ground. Mm -hmm. They're able to come in and they personally pick absolutely everything from the beds all the way to pot and pan and, and rugs. Oh, amazing. And, and where is this located? The, where, the we're located right off of 47th and Kedzie in Brighton Park. Okay, yeah, looking at that spinach there, that looks great. Yes. Um, yeah. And what are you hearing from uh, folks that are, what's the feedback then? It's, it's, you know, a lot of it's, I, I didn't believe it. <laughs> I didn't believe it. I thought, you know, I thought it was full of baloney. Um, but it, it, it's truly, you know, a lot of the people that, that, that we serve um, are in these situations that no fault of their own. A lot of mm -hmm. them have had that choice taken away from them. They're going to a place where this is what they could afford, this is what the subsidy was, and they get to come in and they, and they pick everything. It's not just, you know, picking between two couches, right, with those truckloads we're getting from Walter <laughs> E. Smith, right? At least 30 couches are on display, at least 30 of, of everything are on display. Amazing. And it, it often comes full circle when they're picking out the few final items. Um, it gets emotional in, in our showroom but they get to uh, you know turn the next page start the next chapter in their life and they get to create their own oasis of the things that they that they want that they curated themselves yeah. and really what you guys are doing makes this so easy for people because I know you know sometimes if you're in a, you're moving you're in a hurry mm -hmm. it just goes to the garbage when it doesn't have yeah, to exactly so right now we have our trade-in sale we'll pick up your furniture for free and give you a $500 coupon just to further incentivize you to donate your still usable items that we can then turn around, clean up, 
and it's under the furniture bank. So we know Chicago is a big city, but at its core, it's a small town. Mm -hmm. And so it's everybody's like duty and privilege and honor to help all of our fellow Chicagoans. Everybody deserves to be comfortable. That's oh, awesome. Gosh. Couldn't have been better said. <laughs> yes. Way to give back yeah. and then also uh, it's sustainable too. Yeah, exactly. love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank oh, you. thank you. You can get more information at the Chicago Furniture Bank on their website or call the number you see right there on your screen. Thank you both so much.